They're 1,300 years old and they're one of the best preserved works of Anglo-Saxon art anywhere in the world. And today the public had their first chance to see the Lindisfarne Gospels in all their glory as the centrepiece of a major exhibition in Durham. The Gospels will be on display for 92 days. Each day has been divided into 48 15 minute slots. Every quarter of an hour, 30 people will be allowed to view them, which means a total of 132,480 tickets are available, and 25,000 of them have already been snapped up. Well, Adrian Pitches was at the front of the queue, and he joins us now live from Durham. Adrian. Thanks, Dawn. Yes, I want to dispel any myth that I jumped the queue and pushed my way in in front of the school children that came here first thing this morning. Yes, we had a preview last week. We saw those fabulous pictures on Look North last week. And today, the audience finally got to get in for the first of 92 days of the Gospels. Let's see how they got on. The first customers were school children from Newcastle who won a competition to be first through the door. But adults were soon queuing for their first sight of the Gospels. And the sacred text, crafted by monks on Holy Island 1,300 years ago, did not disappoint. I enjoyed it very much. I've, um, I've seen work about it at Bede's World years ago, but it's lovely to come and see it as in situ where it should be, where it was first originated, yes. Do you think they should stay here? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Without doubt. I thought it was amazing because I adore that kind of thing. I was thrilled to get the opportunity to come here today. To, um, to see it and um, I've, I'll be uh, telling my friends about it in London and I'll be packing them up here, you know. Fantastic exhibition actually. Uh, when you see it as a, as a piece that someone's produced 1300 years ago and in that level of detail taking years when it would have been difficult just to stay alive, it's just, just mind-blowing. The exhibition has made Durham a magnet for tourists this summer both from within the UK and from much further afield. Amazing. We've had people from Coventry, Merseyside, California, Canada, uh, and they've just come absolutely wowed by it. Um, they think it's an amazing exhibition, and I think people are going to come back. But the Gospels crafted to the glory of St Cuthbert are not just a tourist attraction. It's hoped their religious value will also have an impact long after they return to London. Culturally, I hope it will, as it were, reaffirm the significance of the North for our cultural history. The North has a wonderful cultural heritage that goes right back to the Saxon times of St Cuthbert and the Lindisfarne Gospel Book. I think this needs to be told about. I think people need to hear a bit more about the significance of the North and the history of England. The word gospel comes from the Old English God's spell, which means good news. Their arrival is good news for Durham and those making the pilgrimage to see them. Well, welcome back. With me is Keith Bartlett, Programme Director of the Gospels. What's the first day been like? Where have people been coming from to see the Gospels, Keith? Well, it's been a really exciting day for us. We've been delighted with it. We've had people from all over the world. We've had people from America, from New Zealand, from Australia, from Holland, um, as well as people from all around this region and beyond in the UK. And what sort of comments have they been putting in the visitors' book? I imagine they've been overwhelmingly positive. They really have. We've been delighted to see some of the comments. I um, mean, we wanted to see the smiles on their faces, but we've seen the comments in the books, and from fabulous to amazing, uh, you name it, they've said it in that book. Uh, and so we're really pleased with our first day. Now, we've talked about 132,000 tickets, but if demand is huge, you might even be able to squeeze in a few more, I gather. Well, well, we'll look at that when we get to that particular point. But what we want to make sure is that the experience of everybody coming round the exhibition is a fabulous one. And so, uh, at the moment, uh, everybody who's gone round today has had a really good experience, and that's at capacity. I mean, we've really been running at capacity today. And, obviously, your doors are open until 10 o'clock at night, so it's, it's 12 hours a day that you're open. That's right, and we've already got the evening party going round. I've seen some very smart people going into the gallery, so uh, we've always got an evening audience. Excellent. Well, I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. Thank you for that, Keith. Well, we'll be here to see them trotting out at 10 o'clock. You'll get an update at half past 10 on BBC Look North. Thanks, Adrian. Now, from today, mothers-to-be 